I want to be the best mom that I can possibly be. It's gonna be my like greatest adventure yet. 33 weeks pregnant. If I had pubic hair, I might have a few because I can't really see down there, but I am trying to shave still. <laughs> I am 18 weeks pregnant and I think I'm about 18 weeks and four days pregnant to be precise. Uh, I still don't even really feel pregnant. It's kind of crazy. Um, the gas has been a little crazy at night though. <laughs> That's one symptom. I have been able to poop just fine. Constipation has not been a thing anymore. Uh, my nipples just all of a sudden a few days ago and just in this 18 weeks, this one week has, they've been so sensitive. Like I woke up this morning, my shirt barely touched it. I was like, oh gosh. So that's been interesting. I just started this new uh, thing right here. This is a, um, I've taken quite a few of this brand's um, vitamins and I'm also taking another one. It's called Glow Mama. This one is uh, 18 probiotic strains. So it's supposed to help with digestion and stuff because when you're pregnant, your digestive system slows down, which causes gas and all that kind of stuff. I am feeling stressed out because I no longer have my uh, position at the company I built but yet somehow every day is still so busy already. And every time I'm doing a simple task, like hurrying to drive to an appointment or to the grocery store, I just keep thinking to myself how different my life is gonna be in a few short months. And it kind of scares me. Uh, like this version of myself is going to disappear and I'm going to be a mom. And I'm getting emotional because I'm scared and I'm excited. I was not um, planning on uh, crying, but just doing simple tasks like that, I'm thinking to myself, holy heck, like I'm gonna have to like, not forget a baby in the car. Like I'm gonna have to get a baby out and like in the rain, it's raining right now. And like into the grocery store with me and like deal with a baby and take care of a baby on top of everything else. And so it's just been like with the remodel and just like trying to keep up on my work schedule on YouTube and stuff and my animals and having a three acre property. It's just been and a house in Nashville. It's just been a lot to like wrap my head around still. Like, and the thing is I knew when I got pregnant, I was like, you're never going to be ready. So you just need to do it because now that you've had a miscarriage, you know that you really want it now. And so I'm grateful that I had that kind of like realization, but it doesn't change the fact that it's just so scary that things are just going to be so different soon. I go through these like weird little moments where I just like, I just like right now I feel so unmotivated. I don't want to do anything today. I want to lay on the couch and do nothing and eat hot Cheeto fries. I really wished I had the motivation to work out, but I don't. And I guess it doesn't help that it's raining, but I've already worked a bit today and like the last thing I wanna do is any more work. <laughs> so having like trying to find motivation is kind of one of those like patchy things for me throughout this whole pregnancy. Like I'll be very unmotivated one day and then very motivated the next day. I think it's very natural to be very afraid. I'm going to have a little tiny human that completely relies on me for everything. And I want to be the best mom that I can possibly be. And I am excited for that. And it's gonna be my like greatest adventure yet. I just posted my gender reveal today, which was very exciting. I have also a pounding headache today. Um, 
And I have some new symptoms to talk to you guys about that I've kind of like seen progressively change or get worse or more noticeable, I guess. Uh, but this headache is like, I haven't had a headache in like a few, it's almost like I drank way too much last night and I'm having like a gnarly hangover. That's how I feel today. My head has been pounding since about 8 p.m. last night. And I don't wanna take any headache medicine because I just don't wanna put medicine in my body. I took half a Tylenol, like four headaches, um, a couple months ago, like a month ago or something, and it didn't do anything. So there's that. But, um, so a couple things. I have been feeling a bit unmotivated. I have been trying to find time to work out and the thing is, I just have such a crazy to-do list that the day will end before I've even finished the things that are pressing that need to be done because I was working on other more pressing things. So it's been a little frustrating because like I don't want to work out, but I want to work out. Do you know what I mean? So, and obviously your body goes through so many changes during pregnancy and they are getting to me a little bit. Uh, I've always been self-conscious of my body, whether it's because I don't have large enough boobs or I'm too tall and skinny. When I was little, I got made fun of a lot for that, being lanky. And um, now it's like I'm seeing my body change in ways that, you know, I wasn't really prepared for. Like I knew what to expect. I knew it was going to happen, but it's just different when you go through it. And so, Leo, do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi, little nugget? Look how cute you look. Are you a little frosted Christmas tree too? So, um, that's been interesting. And so when I don't work out and I get into bed at night, I'm just like, oh shoot. Like I really needed to work out. So I'm, I, my secret weapon for myself is I basically will save my trash TV to watch and I'll only watch it if I'm lifting weights or on the treadmill. So, that's what we're gonna do today because there is actually a new episode of Before the 90 Days, the 90 Day Fiance. I just saw, a com the only reason I'm knowing about these things is because I'm seeing commercials come out. Symptoms. I have noticed that quite a few of my like moles or raised freckles have become more noticeably raised and or like a little larger and darker. It was a little concerning because I have like a freckle like down there and I was washing down there and as my hand like slid over it, I was like, do I have a pimple down there? Like, what is that? So of course I looked like a crazy person up on the sink with my leg over here and taking a picture, like trying to see and like putting my flashlight down there. And it is just the same freckle that has been down there forever, except it's now a little more raised. And so I have ne I had never seen this in any pregnancy symptom websites or anything of the sort or any articles. So I looked it up and apparently it is a thing. So yeah, I've been dealing with that. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get into the dermatologist immediately, which I will still do, but I feel better knowing now that it is a symptom. Lastly, I have finally started to look a little more pregnant than just thicker. Um, I actually wore a tight dress or a skirt the other day. And that was like the very first picture I posted on Instagram of like my baby bump. And I wouldn't say I've popped yet, but I definitely look more pregnant and it's been hard to get used to the idea of not sucking in. Like usually when I wear tight things, I'm so used to like sucking in and keeping my like core tight. Whereas when you're pregnant, it doesn't matter. Like <laughs> it, I definitely stick out a little bit more when I'm not sucking in, but even if I do suck in, I just, I still look pregnant. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, okay, you wanna be part of the video? Okay, say hi to everybody. Look right here, right there, right there, right there. You're looking in the wrong spot. You're just looking at yourself in the screen. Hey, where's your ball? <laughs> I have not vlogged for a pregnancy diary entry for four weeks. It's crazy. Luckily for us, 
it's kind of all been the same for all of those weeks almost. Um, a few slight changes, which I'll talk to you guys about, but I'm finally like, feel like every day is not just, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant, holy crap. But um, some big things happen too. Let's talk about those first because they're the most exciting parts about pregnancy so far for me. So on my, I, every Sunday I turn another week. So the morning of my 19 weeks, I felt her kick like legitimately for the first time. And I felt her kick a couple times before that, but I just like wasn't sure, but I was like sure, but I wasn't. And so it was so funny, like, like clockwork from 19 weeks on, I have just felt her very active. She's, and throughout that time, it's been kind of the same. And now I'm finally starting to know like the activity times. As of the past week, so my 22nd week, I've noticed that she's awake more often and I can feel her more and I can feel her on two sides of my stomach as opposed to just kicking in one. So I don't know if she's like stretching her arms out and then kicking. I don't know <laughs> what is going on in there. She's still very small. She's supposedly currently the size of like a small mango, but um, still big enough to like where I can feel it and I can actually see my stomach move a little bit here and there. Not like those crazy like alien ones that you guys see or and I've seen but I can definitely see like it poke out. So um, Nick has definitely been able to feel her as well, which has been just really cool. It's been awesome to just be totally wrapped up and involved in something else. And then I can feel her move and it, I just feel so connected and it's, it's really cool. It's going by very fast, but I also feel like it's going by very slowly at the same time. I just got a brand new little row of stretch marks underneath this boob right here. Only This boob is the only part of my body so far that's gotten a stretch mark. And except unless these are stretch marks on my side, which I just got, these might be. But it literally appeared overnight. Like I thought they were kind of like a slow progressive thing and like you'd start to see it and then it would get a little bit worse. No girl, <clears throat> I like took my bathing suit, this bathing suit top off yesterday because I laid out a little bit yesterday and I was like, what is that? And I'm looking in the mirror and there's like a brand new stretch mark. So I think my boobs have gotten the stretch marks because I put implants in almost a year later. I had them done again because I wasn't happy and I went a little bigger and then now I'm pregnant. So like my poor boobs are like, what the actual fuck is going on? Like how big are we gonna be? Like. <laughs> marks on the side right here. I don't know if these are stretch marks or like what those are. They might be. I'm a month away from my third trimester, which is so wild. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how we're doing over here. I just am not able to always do this every single week because I keep having people in and out of the house because I want to do it the day before I turn. So tomorrow I'll be 25 weeks and Hi, Leo. Did you want to say hi? Come up here. Come on. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. I've stopped pooping on the carpet because mama's pregnant. Yes, you have. There's a good boy. So, um, because of the remodel, there's been people in and out of here. And then by the time they're gone, it's like just super dark and like not great to film. So honestly, this like bi-weekly thing might be working out okay because I feel like not a whole lot has changed since the last time I checked in with you guys. I have been feeling tons of movement. She is very active. I've never been pregnant before, but, well I have, but you know what I mean, gotten this far in a pregnancy. And so I don't really know what to compare it to, but she is very, very active. Leo, you can wait, okay? You just came from there. You did. You were literally just out there. You can stay here for a second, okay? Been feeling her, she's super active. My stomach and my boobs have become itchy all over again. And I've got these like little dry, like itchy bumps on my stomach that are kind of turning into like little scabs because I'm, I'm trying not to itch them, but I can't really help it. So that's something that I've noticed. And then <laughs> I don't know if this is a foreshadowing of how she's gonna be as well, just like her mother, but Anytime I roll over at night, which is pretty often, she'll start kicking for a few minutes and then she'll go back to sleep. 
So it's kind of funny, like I wonder if she's going to be a very light sleeper like I am. Um, yeah, and then she'll stop and then I'll go back to be able to go back to sleep. But there's definitely been a lot of that going on. And my, is that your ball? Thank you for bringing that to me. Um, my nipples and my boobs have been like, actually mostly my nipples have been kind of starting to get a little tender again. And then um, I have also been having to pee a lot more and I've had a little less discharge the past couple weeks. So those are kind of the only real like updates that I have other than like, I mean, everything else has been somewhat the same. I am noticing also, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm when I feel her kicking and like, she's really like on one and she's like very active. Like I'll look down at my stomach and I can see her kicking, which is pretty cool. My friend Brooklyn actually put her hand on my stomach the other day when we were filming our podcast and she was like, Oh my gosh, I felt that. Um, so I'm, it's becoming more visible when she's kicking and stuff, which is pretty cool. So today I just finished 25 weeks and I am now 26 weeks. So we'll do a little 25 week recap. I would say it's not a whole lot different from last week. Um, I just ate a ton of food, so it's very hard to talk and breathe. Um, for me, the main difference is that I feel like she has graduated from just random kicks. Uh, she still does that, but um, now I'm getting more of like a roller coaster kind of like wave feeling in my stomach where she'll like move here and then there and then there and you can kind of see it kind of all in one fluid motion. So I, don't, I, I have a feeling it's probably maybe her just getting a little more coordinated, <clears throat> but I still have to pee all the time. Um, discharge has been a bit less than previous weeks um, and yeah, she wakes up super easy though. Like every time I roll over at night, she wakes up and kicks for a couple minutes and then goes back to sleep. So um, that's been interesting. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, that's kind of the only update. I still like don't know where I'm gonna give birth. I sent an email to this um, birth center in PB that's somewhat near uh, a couple different hospitals. So we're gonna see about that and see what happens, but I'll show you guys. This is probably some of the food I just ate too. That camera angle is not actually the best. If you guys were a little lower, it would look a little bigger, but um, yeah, I definitely am looking pregnant now. I went to the nail salon today and the guy checking me out was like, <laughs> not, he didn't say like, are you pregnant or anything? He just was like, is that a baby? And like pointed at my stomach and I was like, yes, it's a baby. I have just completed 26 weeks of pregnancy and I'm super confused because I don't really know if I'm in my third trimester or if it starts after this week. Everything I read online says something a little bit different when it comes down to like just hitting 27 weeks. So I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna do, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do a Doppler right now. Um, I know a lot of you have mentioned in previous videos that you don't necessarily like these. They're a false sense of security. And as I do understand that, I still really like to hear my child's heartbeat. And I have not, not been able to find it once. So I just think it's a cool experience and take it with a grain of salt. Definitely you're not gonna find it every time and it can be worrisome, it can cause doubt. So just know that, um, but this is my choice and I would like to use it. So I'm gonna use it right now. Oh, let's see. I had these shorts on um, over my stomach and it was like so tight. Oh, get your ball out of here. I don't wanna play ball right now, Leo. Oh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Pretty cool. I will link you to this in the description box if it's something that you're interested in, but just keep in mind that this doesn't mean that your baby's healthy. It doesn't mean that your baby's not if you can't find the heartbeat. So you gotta take this with a grain of salt and just enjoy it for what it is or don't use it. There was something I was gonna tell you guys and now I can't remember. So I guess 
I am now uh, going to be entering 27 weeks, which is what I'm researching is my third trimester, which is pretty exciting. I would say my symptoms, like everything's been pretty like even keeled this whole time. I feel like I've been pretty damn lucky compared to like some pregnancies that I've heard about. Uh, headaches are gone. I've never had any morning sickness. The only kind of things I'm feeling right now are sometimes my lower back um, hurt really bad and like my mid upper back, like it's been on this side last night and when that starts to hurt and ache, I can't even enjoy what I'm doing because it's like so overwhelming. So it really inspired me to, along with a lot of your messages, telling me that you can go to a chiropractor when you're pregnant, as it turns out. Uh, but it sounds like you want to go to someone that specializes in prenatal chiro... I almost said chiro... chiropracy. That's not a thing. <laughs> Chiropractic. So I actually called somebody today and made an appointment, um, and they specialize in chiropractic. And what sold me is they said sacrum relief. And I was like, oh, ah, because my sacrum has been the one constant pain throughout this entire pregnancy. And I just need it to go away. So hopefully getting everything in line will help with that. I also am, uh, you know, basically i just thought of an idea for a video i need to write that down <laughs> um so it basically helps get your body ready also because if your body isn't aligned it's harder for your baby to do the cardinal movements to like make it out so i've researched so i have that on the books i'm going on thursday in a couple days and then i also bought a an exercise ball uh some people call them birth balls. They're literally the same thing. And I've been doing like figure eights with my hips and things like that and doing like side to sides and stuff just to get my body ready um, because I would like to do a natural birth. Um, I have never pushed a human out of my vagina before though, so I may change my mind. So I did start going to the chiropractor uh, a few days ago. The cracks in that visit were crazy. It was wild. Like I <laughs> apparently have a lot of tension up here in my neck and then on my mid right back and my sacrum, which is funny because my upper like mid left side of my back, like if my nipple was on my back, like that's where I'm talking about, like next to my spine just starts aching super bad. It's usually at night, but it can happen throughout the day too. And there's literally no relief for me unless I lay down in bed and put like a heat pad on my back. That's the only time I can get any relief. So like, it's like so bad that if I'm out at dinner or something, this happened the other night, like I will just, you'll just, I'm sure the people that I'm at dinner with are like, what is she doing? Like, I'm just like repositioning myself. And like, there's just no, there's just no getting away from it. It's just really painful. So uh, I feel like if that's kind of one of my only pregnancy symptoms, I'm like doing pretty good. Um, someone's awake. <laughs> um, speaking of someone, she has been having, oh, back to the chiro. Uh, so yeah, I kind of thought going to the chiropractor and all those cracks and stuff, I'd feel better like that and not really experience that again. But that was wishful thinking uh, because I definitely, it's continued. So I'm hoping that going, continuing to go every week will really help. Um, and the idea is to help basically make my body a better, easier place for my baby to come out of when I'm in labor. That's kind of like, if everything's lined up, it's easier for your baby to do the cardinal movements and like come out the right way. So trying to get everything lined up. The chiropractor did ask me if I did yoga and I was like, I actually hate yoga. <laughs> uh, but no, I don't. Why do you ask? And he's like, well, you're really flexible. Like my leg was like up in the air. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. Like I didn't think I was that flexible, but that's cool. I've been trying to uh, stretch here and there. I did also get a birthing ball. So I've been doing like the figure eights with the hips and some different exercises to try and also get my body ready for giving birth to make it as easy as possible. I did order a birth or not a birth pillow, a maternity pillow to try and help me sleep. I think maybe kind of spreading my knees apart and having something in between there will help keep my spine a little spine a little more like aligned. And hopefully 
uh, like hopefully that will help my back not hurt, not to hurt as much. So that will be good. Um, we have planned our baby moon. So we are all booked. We are going to Puerto Escondido. Nick is going to surf there. We're staying at this like really cool little spot. I've been trying to walk a lot. Uh, I keep reading online that people that are pregnant are trying to walk like three miles a day, which I think is insane. Um, a lot, mostly because of the back pain that I've been having. You missed it. Oh gosh, she's so bad at finding it. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch. It's in the bed. It's in the bathroom. Yep. Nope. Nope. As of right now, or as a couple days ago, I should say, I've gained 22 pounds exactly. So I'm basically, supposedly by 27 weeks, you should have gained between 17 and 22 pounds. So I'm at the higher end of that. But yeah, I've gained 22 pounds so far. And I've just noticed that my ankles have turned into cankles. Like they are retaining water and being just swollen. Like I got these hot ass new pair of boots and I could, I could get my left foot in there, but it was tight. And then I couldn't even get my right foot in that fucking boot. Like it was like, nah, bitch, like get your cankles out of here. We don't want none of that. <laughs> I am checking in for my 28 weeks to 30 weeks. The last couple of weeks has been wild. So I didn't do a weekly check-in. I thought I would put it all in one. Our house is still being completely worked on. If you take a look over here. So it's been a little rough over here. So far, my itching has stopped for the past two weeks. Um, my stomach hasn't itched. Nothing has itched at all. So I'm wondering if my stomach's going to get much bigger from, because I'm turning 31 weeks on Sunday, which is tomorrow. So I'm curious if my stomach's gonna grow a whole lot more or what. I currently, as of this morning, weigh 168.6 pounds. When I started, I was 143, which was even higher by 10 pounds than I wanted to be when I got pregnant. But hopefully uh, with breastfeeding and workout, I can kind of shed a lot of that quite quickly. I have heard that you shed a lot of pounds when you are breastfeeding. I experienced heartburn for the first time the other night. We were camping in Joshua Tree and it felt like I had swallowed an entire Listerine bottle and my throat just felt like icy hot, kind of. And like there was like just kind of food chilling right here. And I was like, huh, is this heartburn? And I woke up the next day and I described it to Nick and he was like, yeah, congratulations. You've experienced your first uh, heartburn ever. So that was interesting. I have started to notice a linea negra, if I'm saying that properly. It's very light and it's actually kind of off center, which is a little odd, but it is there on my belly. Um, I've noticed that for probably about three or four weeks now. I wasn't sure if that's really what it was, but it is. I have officially chosen a doula. I have yet to sign the contract, but I have interviewed a total of three doulas. This doula actually was one of my friend's doula and I just trust her opinion a lot. So I'm gonna go with her. I talked to her on the phone yesterday. I really liked her energy. She also has this like beautiful English accent, which I absolutely love. So I'm excited that we have settled on a doula. I've still been going to the chiropractor every single week. It has not really helped anything that I can feel. My back is still pretty much killing me every single night in the same spot. Uh, something just must be pinched or whatever. Um, baby is currently transverse, uh, which means she is kind of like sideways this way in my abdomen. So she's not really facing down quite yet, uh, but hopefully she will in the next couple weeks. She's got a little bit of time. I have been told that she is a little large for her, for her age. However, based on my conception date, which is July 23rd, which is Nick's birthday, uh, cue the birthday sex song. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to be due like April 30th. So the fact that they're telling me that I'm measuring a week ahead and my calculations say I'm a week ahead, uh, that I'm actually technically turning 32 weeks tomorrow, that's kind of what I think is the deal. I think I'm one week ahead, 
We actually leave on our baby moon on Monday night, which is in two days. We are gonna be going to Mexico, which is one of our favorite countries, um, as you guys know, so we're pretty excited for that. I'm hoping that my back pain doesn't limit me too much and I can kind of just enjoy everything as I normally would. But to be honest, it's been really hard to even just sit in a restaurant with my back pain. So fingers crossed that we can enjoy the baby moon for what it is um, and come back feeling refreshed and come back to an almost completely finished house. Oh my gosh, I'm actually sitting at a bar stool in our kitchen. This is crazy. <laughs> this is uh, my, I'm checking in for the last two weeks because I missed last week um, because we were in, Nick is not supposed to be cutting anything right now. He's supposed to be getting ready to go. <laughs> um, he's outside making our bar for our baby shower. Uh, so I feel like not a whole lot has changed. Our baby moon was amazing. I had the largest cankles after our flight there. We flew to um, Port of Escondido and then to Cabo and then back home. We had an awesome time and I got engaged. This is old news to you if you've been following along everything else, if you just stumbled across this video. We finally got engaged and no, we didn't get engaged because we got pregnant. Actually, the baby was planned and everything else just happened a little later. Uh, so my back has stopped hurting for the most part and it's kind of like moved now to my sacrum, which is hurting. Excuse that noise. <laughs> um, before it was like the same spot on my back and that still hurts sometimes. Like last night it hurt a little bit and I put a heat pad on. But overall throughout the trip, I was pretty good. I did pray about it before I went on the trip. I was like, please let this back pain like go away. Dear God, like I need this to go. I want to enjoy this baby moon. I want to be able to go out to dinner and not have this crippling back pain. So the back pain has subsided for the most part. I'm gonna be honest, it's been really hard to find time to do the shaking apples thing, which gets your baby in the right position to be born. And also, uh, haven't been super great at doing my exercises or the ball thing since we were gone for 10 days. Um, and now that noise is the bunnies. <laughs> That's a very loud household already. Uh, so other than that, I'm getting so close here. Like I feel her move all day long every day. And I honestly think that I'm actually 34 weeks today, according to my timeline and my gut feeling. I think my due date's actually April 30th and not May 8th, but we'll find out. I keep hearing that your firstborn is usually a week or two late. So we'll see. I'm gonna go crack the whip on Nick right now because he is not supposed to be doing that. We were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes to go meet some friends uh, this beautiful Sunday evening. So yeah, that's that's all I have to report. Nothing else has really changed. Um, it's harder to move around a little bit. I feel bigger uh, and getting up in the morning is definitely like a, ooh, ah, and my feet kind of hurt. So other than that though, cruising. Not a whole lot has changed since the last time I checked in with you guys. However, we did go to our first birth class and I have now identified what the fuck a Braxton Hicks contraction is. So I read about this, I watched videos about it, still didn't really understand it, um, and now I do. So maybe I can try and explain it. So um, a, a doula that teaches the birth class helped me figure this out. So I thought that when my stomach felt really tight, it was literally just the baby stretching out in there and stretching my skin out and like the womb out a bit. But it turns out that that is a Braxton Hicks contraction and it doesn't hurt, it doesn't bother me. It's just like, oh wow, that feels extra tight. Almost like when you just stretch your skin somehow. And so I thought it was just her moving around, but apparently that's what a Braxton Hicks contraction is. Um, I am still peeing myself when I sneeze. Did that today actually. <laughs> um, we are setting up a stroller over here. We got the Mockingbird um, stroller, which has been really nice and like super smooth. So I'm excited to actually use that. Um, what else? I think the only other difference is uh, our baby shower is coming up next Sunday. We have people coming into town on Thursday. So I've been trying to clean, organize. And honestly, I just like can't take any of it right now. Like my body is just like telling me to sit down. 
So I think kind of all the weight and stuff is getting to me. My ankles are doing good today, actually. Um, Nick got me some good compression socks. They're uh, not very attractive. He got me black, bright pink, and bright blue. So I definitely put those on the other day and nothing else and sent him a naked photo. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up the last two weeks in one clip here. <laughs> This is the wrap up for my 34th week and my 35th week of pregnancy. Whew, baby's moving a lot right now. I have been experiencing Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, I've been feeling a lot of movement still. Um, she has been able to move her body around quite a bit too, cause I'll get a lump on my right side. So that's all fine and good. It's fun to feel her. I love the hiccups. Um, <laughs> Other thing I've been experiencing is swollen feet. I've had some seriously swollen feet. We did just have our baby shower last weekend and we got married, surprise, surprise. I don't know if you've seen that vlog, but we did get married at the wedding, uh, the wedding shower, I mean the baby shower and kind of like surprise everybody. So that was like freaking awesome. But the swollen feet has been painful. Um, they do hurt on top of being swollen, uh, like the top and the sides. Nick has been amazing at giving me foot massages, which has been like, like so nice, like at the end of the day, like, so I've been trying to kind of stay off of my feet a little bit more, but I have a lot to do. Um, we're still not done with our remodel. Um, it's getting close. Uh, for this portion of the house anyway, but it's not done. So there's a lot to do. Nick's at work for the next three days. Uh, so yeah, it's just me and I have to do the housework and the laundry and all this stuff. So it's been a lot. Um, I've been feeling extremely hot lately. I've just noticed this kind of kick up in the last two weeks. So, I mean, I went through a period of this earlier in pregnancy and then it seemed to even out a little bit. And now I'm back to just kind of feeling really hot. Like right now, I think my thermostat is set at 70 degrees or 71 degrees. And typically I would be cold um, with a thermostat at that. Like I would like it more so around 73 or 74, um, anything below that I'd typically be cold. But I feel like it's, I feel like it's like 75 degrees in here right now. I'm kind of getting to the place where I have made my hospital bag list. I've started making my labor playlist and I really need to pack my hospital bag so it's like ready to go because I'm gonna be 36 weeks tomorrow. And if I truly am a week ahead like I think I am, then I'm technically 37 weeks, meaning she, sh she could come literally anytime right now and be a perfectly functioning baby and not have to go to the NICU. So um, I have a lot to do, but that's also on my list is getting my hospital bag packed and ready to go. I am getting like a little afraid of labor, to be honest. I'm trying not to focus on that part of it because I know that my body is like made for this and it's gonna do what it needs to do. But um, it's still probably gonna be pretty damn painful. Uh, luckily for me, I have a pretty high pain threshold. So that's great. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I, I wasn't a little um, scared of it. <laughs> So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And we're kind of, you know, making our plans right now about like baby stuff and labor stuff and like kind of like what we want, what we don't want and who's gonna catch the baby. And so we're kind of doing all that stuff. Um, I still have a ton of stuff to um, unwrap from the baby shower. People were so generous and we got so much stuff. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. And I still have to unpackage a lot of it. So it looks like we got almost everything on our uh, registry, which is so nice. 36 and 37 weeks. Wow, I'm actually almost 39 weeks, a few days away from it. So for 36 and 37, a few additional changes that I'll go over. Um, swelling has gotten progressively worse and kind of stayed the same throughout the past two weeks, I guess. It kind of got worse and ramped up coming into 36 weeks, 35 weeks. It's kind of stayed the same. I did um, get my panels back for that and I am not at risk currently of preeclampsia. Thank goodness. Nick has also been taking my blood pressure every single day and it looks pretty good. Um, obviously it's a little elevated because I am nine months pregnant, but <laughs> it's 
pretty good. Um, so the swelling has been a little annoying. I've been taking all the tinctures, magnesium, potassium, all the different things that you could take and drinks you can make for yourself to try and get the fluids moving around. I've been sitting with like my ankles up on our headboard. <laughs> so that's been a really boring way to chill and watch YouTube videos basically like upside down, like staring at the TV. Um, but uh, I've also noticed that I'm like getting really tired. So my body is literally like, oh, you're not gonna slow down? Well, watch this then. I also did the RB test or the, I don't honestly, I don't, I'll have to put it on the screen. I don't remember what it's called. It's a bacterial test that you like swab inside of your vagina and like a little bit of your perineum to see if you have this like bacteria present that you could potentially pass to your baby when you give birth so that, so if you do, if you're positive for it, you can either do nothing and risk that or you can be on an IV drip during um, labor and delivery, or you can take antibiotics beforehand. But I was really hoping that I was negative for that because when you take those antibiotics, it wipes out all the good germs in your system too, which is not a good thing. So um, luckily I'm negative for that. Uh, I have had a little friend pop up, uh, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids, this is uh, this channel, um, if, if you haven't learned already, is very TMI and nothing is off the table. So yeah, I have not hemorrhoids, but hemorrhoid, just one. Um, I feel like I should name him at this point. He is a, way smaller than he was yesterday. <laughs> um, and when I mentioned this, I put, think I put like preparation age on my Instagram story and, and I was reading some um, messages about it. And I honestly, I feel like I've gotten it pretty good though, because I don't, it's not painful at all. It's just there. So I've tried a natural remedy from the birth center that didn't work for shit. So I got preparation H, we'll see. I've heard that witch hazel on pads in the freezer is really good. So I might try that, but honestly, it's not annoying me. It's just there. I mean, it is annoying me, but it's not like painful. It's just like there. So that's good. Um, the other thing is I feel, I mean, due to the swelling on my feet, I feel like I'm hobbling around like a 95 year old woman. Like when I get up in the middle of the night or like when I get up off this chair, like I literally hobble around for a second, like a 95 year old woman and walk like a 95 year old woman. So that's been definitely a symptom of the, the, the ankles and the legs. So honestly, if I didn't have that swelling and that pain and that soreness down there, I would be fine. Just got the hiccups right now. She's like, her head is like behind where my pubic area is. Like if I had pubic hair, I might have a few cause I can't really see down there, but I am trying to shave still. <laughs> All right guys, this is the end of 39 weeks. I am officially 40 weeks today. Today is Mother's Day, May 8th, 2022. It is my due date today. However, it is close to six o'clock and we have no baby yet, earth side anyway. So she is uh, being stubborn and we were all wrong with our due date guesses. My mom has now changed hers to May 12th. Nick is working on something outside. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we I don't really know when she's gonna come. My legs are still pretty swollen. I've been putting them up though. Um, when I got my lashes done, I had them up over the couch for like an hour and a half and they, drained all the way out and looks almost like my normal ankles and feet, which was really cool. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Piper. Um, our little mop just fell on the ground. It's okay. It's down now. It's not going to get you. Uh, symptoms are exactly the same. I kind of can feel her like pushing down on my, like inside of my vagina down there. I don't know my cervix. So I'm feeling that a little bit, um, but I've been feeling that now for like a week and a half or so. So no new symptoms. I'm exhausted today. I've been trying to like sleep in as much as possible because she's coming any day now. But I've also, I've also feel like I'm in, like in this limbo mode, you know, like when you have appointments or errands to do and you have like a little like one hour time period or hour and a half between, it's not really long enough to like take a nap. It's not really long enough to like cook a meal. It's not really long enough to like do anything with. So you're just kind of like, oh, should I just kind of sit here and kill time and wait? Like that's how I feel right now with her coming. I'm just like, what do I get into right now? What do I do? Like, so I feel I'm in this like weird limbo mode where I'm just like lazy because I feel like it could happen at any moment. I don't want to get into something that I can't finish, but I also feel like 
I should take advantage of the fact that she's not here yet and get into something and do something. <laughs> so I'm in this weird little mode. So what I did instead is I went <coughs> shopping at Bath and Body Works and bought a bunch of candles. So <laughs> um, with that being said, I'm gonna build out um, an enclosure right now, I guess, and an animal enclosure for a new chameleon that I just brought home a couple days ago that was surrendered to me. I have an animal channel if you did not know that. <laughs> But uh, let's see, I don't know, are we gonna get to 41 weeks, y'all? I really don't know.